Hey guys! Okay, so today I am going to be doing how I style my short hair and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is way, not way, but it is definitely harder than styling my short or my long hair. With my long hair, so I have really, so I have really thin hair but I have a lot of it and I have more towards an oily scalp. Um, but so my hair is also like bone straight and so with my long hair and if you guys are new to my channel or something my hair went way past my boobs and then I chopped it all off and it's actually like longer right now than it normally is but so I didn't have to do a single thing to it I could sleep on it wet I could I could sleep on it wet, wake up, just brush it in the morning and it would be fine. I could blow dry it if I wanted to. I could let it air dry, whatever I did, it was fine. And then I got all my hair cut off. And I showered a couple days later and I was like, oh my gosh, it doesn't look good. And with some trial and error, I finally figured out my right combination. I like the way this looks. I like how it's kind of more curled under and like my haircut is more of a angled bob or angled lob, um, but it is not angled severely at all. And yeah, so there are times where I just shower and let it be. It's manageable. I can still do stuff with it, but this is my preferred look. So I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this. It's really not hard. I really don't use a lot of products. Um, I just feel that products weigh my hair down a lot more. If you guys have any suggestions on products, I would love to hear them because as you can tell, my hair is really flat. And if I do, and I also touch my hair a lot, so that's an issue because if I do, I have like a root booster from Big Sexy Hair or whatever that hair brand is um, that I've used before and it works, but it makes my hair feel really stiff and like when I got my hair done for prom, she teased it a whole bunch and like put this powder in it and it was teased and it stayed. But it was awful and I just touched my hair way too much for like I don't want my hair to feel like that I want it to feel silky and smooth like it does now so yeah so enough jibber jabbering and let's get into the video so coming out of the shower I just towel dry my hair and I kind of shake it out a little bit so that it can start the air drying process and then I get out my bucket of tools from my bathroom closet and I got it from Ulta and so that is just Moroccan oil, um, hair insurance or hair, what's this called? Heat protectant. And then my blow dryer is a Hot Tools Turbo Ceramic from Ulta. So then I just start by spraying the stuff in my mouth apparently, but I spray the argan oil in my hair and it just makes it really smooth and feel great and then I spray the heat protectant in my hair because I do end up flat ironing it after this so then for blow drying I start off by just flipping my head over and really trying to get my roots pretty dry and that also gives me some nice volume and then I just brush out my hair and take my brush and just comb through my hair with it and blow dry it basically. I also use a round brush sometimes but I haven't used it. I didn't use it for a while before this video but then I used it after and I remember how much I really loved it and so you can also use a round brush if you have short hair like mine. So then I just take my Zoe flat iron, this is nothing special, I believe I got this from like Marshalls or something, and what I do because my hair flips out at the bottom because the length it is, is I take my straightener and I just kind of flip it at the ends. And if you had a round brush, it would kind of do this on its own, but since I didn't use a round brush, you just I just kind of take it and flip it on the ends or else it will flip out the opposite way. And sometimes I have to do this every morning um, just to get my desired look. So then I 
also sometimes will take this big sexy hairspray and just spray a little bit into my fingers and rub it through the front because I get some flyaways up top and just to smooth those down a little bit so that my hair stays nice and polished. liked this video and maybe I helped some other short girl short haired girls out there um yeah I definitely watched a lot of videos on how I style my short hair right after I cut my hair off and realized that it was not the same <laughs> as it was before when it was long so I hope this helps you guys. If you don't have short hair and maybe you're thinking of getting short hair, I don't want this video to scare you guys or anything. It's really not that much work. I was just super, super lazy before. So it was like way more work than I was used to, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't take that long at all. And yeah, so make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos of mine. I would love it if you guys stayed around. And thank you guys so much just for all your support and watching my videos and everything like that. It means the world to me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.